The 2023 Discovery Awards finalists for Emerging Professional. Sponsored by Solid State Pharma. Currently I'm working with two different companies and I also own my own company. Uh, they're all within the technology side of things. Uh, for one of the companies I'm working as a lead electrical and software engineer. We're developing a handheld device that can allow us to detect water impurities around the world. What it will allow people to do is to monitor the safety levels of their drinking water. Um, over time, they can collect information about how uh, the water levels or the impurities concentration in their water bodies change. This can help them monitor or even predict what can happen in the future. At Bluetooth Technologies, I'm working there as a CTO and the co-founder. Uh, we make financial technologies that make finance-related technologies easier to deliver to the world. I got into stroke research uh, really because we were at a place across Canada where there was significant room for improvement. The work that I did in Alberta to improve stroke treatment times involved getting all of the stroke hospitals together, then creating improvement teams, and working as a group, we were able to cut treatment times in half. We were able to increase the number of patients that were able to return home. It's really rewarding to see how process change can result in such huge uh, improvement in outcomes. So it's all about finding your place and never being scared to make change. For me, um, I've been fortunate to be able to land in a place where I can do that. My day-to-day -day work is annoyingly hard to visualize in an exciting way. So my research is really focused on trying to come up with new computer methods and tools to use DNA sequencing data from pathogens like viruses like COVID-19 or bacteria that cause infections, to track down new variants that are emerging, looking at how a virus is evolving as it's moving through the population, what's that impact likely to be, and how can we better control that with like things like those interventions, those shutdowns, are they gonna work controlling the emergence of new variants? Get to work with public health agencies across the world to try and develop a lot of useful stuff to enable the use of DNA sequencing for public health decision making.